Hello everybody, it's I, Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. Last time, we destroyed Abraham Lincoln. Uh, so, now you, might, you guys might be wondering what we have in store this time. Well, I don't want to say too much, as it'll spoil the premise of, of the plot of this chapter. Uh, although I will mention, as you may see here, the, uh, the, uh, the, the Soto, I think that's what it's called, uh, as has been updated in the intro because Max is still currently president. So, yep, see, we still have the American flags and all that. And there's all the Max's stone space, you know, per usual in this, uh, uh, in this intro. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed, but each, I think each time... Unrest in the Dakotas. Dispatch equal numbers of giant battle robots to all sides. Whoever survives, claim we backed them all along. Illegal immigration. Let the new guys pilot the giant battle robots. Criticism that your domestic policy is too giant battle robot based. They can take it up with my new press secretary, the Mametron 9000. If that's the guys from Air Force One, tell them they get the keys back once they say the magic word. Quiet, Max. It's the commissioner. Total collapse of the economy and downfall of Western civilization? Great grinning head of John the Baptist in a pork pie hat stuffed in a rhinestone bowling bag. We're on our way. We've got a computer crisis to take care of, little buddy. Have they tried turning it off and back on again? Bigger than that, Max. Computers everywhere are going haywire. Planes are falling from the sky. Nuclear reactors are nearing meltdown. And scores of pasty white nerds will be forced to go outdoors and socialize with normal people. The horror. <laughs> Where do we start, Sam? The National Consortium of Smart People who are good with computers has been tracking electron surges all over the country. And one of the biggest is right here in our neighborhood. What an unbelievably convenient coincidence. How do we find an electron surge? No idea. Let's go. Well then, we have well, we have to find out this surge, but per usual, we're in the, we're in the office here. Uh they we now we have the uh we have the rug from the White House, so that's neat, I guess. Uh, we normally have something in a bulletin board. Lincoln's head, still at large. Okay, that's new. So, Lincoln's head, still at large. And, per usual, uh, let's look to Leonard. Hungry Leonard? Okay, maybe later then. And then we have the president's <laughs> severed head. Even if he was just a puppet, Max, don't you think it's unsettling to keep the head of the former president inside our closet? You're right, Sam. We need to get a pike. Anyway, but well, we checked all that out. Uh, let's let's head into town to try and solve this computer crisis. Well then, uh, you know what? Well, I have some time to be able to talk about uh, some commentary stuff. Uh, let's what's in the gumball machine? This gum. A gang of about five. What? He kept. Oh. Let me uh, let me try that again. It's broken. Damn it! I skipped through the dialogue. Ah, well. Uh, so, the uh, the developers of this remaster, uh, Skunk Ape, these are, they're the people that not only did the remaster of uh, this game and the game sequel, uh, Beyond Space and Time, uh, they announced that they were, they're in the middle of remastering The Devil's Playhouse, the third game, the season three of Sam and Max. And that it's supposedly it's gonna be coming out this year, uh, 2023. So that's nice. Can't wait to do that in the year of 2026. Don't know how I. And that's just assuming my channel lasts that long. Anyway, enough of that. Let's just head into Bosco's inconvenience. What disguise does he have this time? He he looks normal. Hey Bosco. Greetings and well met. Friend, what's been for hire? Sam, how come I suddenly have a primal desire to beat Bosco savagely? Because he's talking like a Renaissance Fair attendee, Max. It's an innate fight-or-flight response. <laughs> I am El Bosco Drill the Unhinged, mighty half-elf ranger. Why do you become an elf? Okay, Bosco. While Max prepares the Thorazine, why don't you tell us why you've become an elf? Half-elf? And I'll tell you why. I've had multiple delivery conspiracies, I've had missiles aimed at me, and now I got rival arms dealers setting up shop in my store. Point being? Well, it's not safe for me here anymore. I gotta take my business the only place I can feel 100% secure. The internet! What does the internet have to do with elves? What does this internet doohickey have to do with being an elf? Half elf. 
It's because everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar, like a dwarf or an orc or a troll. But we got enough trolls. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but he's actually less creepy as the elf. Half elf, troll. Ah, never mind. You guys don't understand how computers work. You're taking your store online? You're taking your store online? Where will that leave us? We fear and mistrust computers. Don't you worry, guys. My online store will offer twice the inconvenience at thrice the price. Well, see you there. So, we want to buy, buy something. I have the finest goods in all the land. Tell him we'll pay him just to stop talking like that. What would the squire care to purchase? All right. Uh, what have you got? What have you got? Oh, not much. Just a virulent biological weapon. A biological right. weapon? Biological weapons? We don't like to judge. Speak for yourself, Sam. But isn't germ warfare a little on the south side of ethical? I've got to compete to stay in the market, guys. If an arms dealer's going to open up shop in my store, I've got to up the ante. How much for the biological right. weapon? How much for this virulent biological weapon of yours? One billion dollars. We'll take it. What's another billion or so to the national deficit? I'm sorry. For safety reasons, I no longer accept cash in the store. You'll have to pay online. That's pretty inconvenient. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody, do you have do you any, any dual-core processors with 512 megabyte cache? Nay. I'm trying to figure out if that's actually good or not. If that's actually a good part or not. Do you have any chimpanzee-sized diapers? Nay. Nay. Do you have any barbecue plankton chips? Nay. Do you have any keychains with a plus eight modifier to dexterity? I wish. <laughs> Man. You know what? You know what? I guess, I guess we're talking about, like, D&D shit here. Uh... I, I guess I might as well talk about the D&D campaign I'm in. Uh, long story short, it's a uh, it's a homebrew campaign. Do you have any self-respect? Nay. Ha <laughs> ha! Trick you! No, I understood the question. I understood it all too well. Aww. You poor... sure do know how to suck the fun out of everything, Bosco. Oh, poor Bosco. Do you have any Lombos? It's stale. Do you have any... Okay, we, we saw that. All right, so, yeah. So. On second thought, nothing for us now. As that... But don't blame me when you're stuck in the torched wastelands with nary a bag of enchantment to defend thyself. See you later, Bosco. To the battle! Godspeed, defenders of the Shire. Uh, anyways, yeah, so... It's a homebrew, it's a homebrew campaign, uh... Pirate campaign, rather. Uh, oop. I... Whee! <laughs> Thanks for that game. Alrighty, thanks for freezing just to slap Max. Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, what do you call it? Cobra Campaign, World's Flooded, a la, uh, Wind Waker. Uh, Whole Cruise Pirates, uh, we recently had a, uh, we had to break out of prison. Because most of us got captured. Uh, and now the person that offered to repair a ship is in trouble. Pretty cool stuff. Hey, hands off the merchandise, pigs. Ugh. Uh, well then. Ooh. Hey, hands off the mic. All right, I think we might have to talk Ooh. to Jimmy Two Teeth here first. Well, if it isn't our favorite ethically challenged rat, Jimmy Two Teeth. Sam was wondering where you'd scampered off to. I'm touched. I was wondering what embarrassing pose we'd use when we had you stuffed and mounted. Yeah, yeah. I'm scared out of my wits. You's gonna buy something or what? What's, What's a two-bit crook like you trying to sell this time? I'll ignore that petty insult for the sake of a successful transaction. I'm selling the latest in interpersonal defense. You're an arms dealer? You make it sound so cheap. I deal in peace of mind. What have you got in stock? Yeah, right now I only got this cannon. You guys look like you should just start out with handguns. We've already got handguns. Oh, yeah? Where? Just trust him on that one. How much for that cannon? It's not for sale. Worst arms dealer ever. It's not for sale to you guys. 
I don't sell to the police. Call it my own ethical code. But we're just Coward. barely police. Yeah, I seen how you guys work. I sell it to you, and next thing I know, the bunny's got it pointed right at me. I mean, to be fair. Freelance police, Mr. Teeth. You're under arrest. Come along quietly, and we'll only use excessive force instead of medieval. Just try it, pigs. Last time I checked, it was a free country. I'm working on that. Seriously, you're enough really... games, Jimmy. You're under arrest. I know my rights. New federal mandate for armament appropriation, and I quote, no citizen shall be prevented from setting up shop without a license and in someone else's store to sell dangerous weapons indiscriminately to the highest bidder. Who in his right mind would pass such an irresponsible law? I couldn't help it, Sam. The gun lobby has these unbelievable gift baskets. Well, that, that, that'll do it. See you later, Jimmy. So Maybe if you can find me. So the trick here is, like, you have to get shot by the cannon. Whew. And then, yeah, if you're fast, you have to be fast enough. Do tricks, Jimmy. Just living the life of a simple businessman making an honest living. You have to, you have to click on the cannon. Hey! Yep, so, get shot by the cannon, and then you have to hit the cannon while he's currently trying to reload it. It's hard, it's hard to do because the cannon has a really specific hitbox here. Hey! It doesn't help that Jimmy fucking Two Teeth blocks the hitbox. Lottery tickets, aka the donate to Bosco charity. God damn it. Whew. This is gonna take a while, folks. This is gonna take a bloody while just to get a fucking. There we go. I'm stuck! As president, I resolve to address the nation's rat obesity problem without delay. Get me out of here! Oh, we'll let you out of there soon enough, Jimmy. Soon enough. There we go. Now you might be wondering, what does, what's this cannon for? Well, hmm. Well, there's only one place we haven't visited yet. Uh, our good old friend Sybil. Let's let's see what let's Whee! see what let's see let's see what profession she's up to. Beta testing. Wait, is she? Wait, she's a beta tester. Hey, Sybil, have you? I'm surrounded. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Stand back, Max. It sounds like Sybil's finally cracked. It's about time. Her relative stability was making the rest of the neighborhood look bad. Back, pit demons! With Sword of Righteous Fire, I cast thee away! This is just like that time we were hired as motivational speakers for that Sunday school. Actually, now that I look closely, it's more like our last case. And the three before that. If there's one thing I've learned to recognize recently, it's a hypnotic device. And those weird glasses are it. Launch stinging BBs of unholy smiting. To break her out of the trance, we'll have to deliver a blow to her head. You know, Sam, when you love what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. All right. Well, let's let's see. Oh, we do have a boxing glove already, then. Back, demons! Cast ward of pungent unsavoriness. I can't get close enough to touch her, Max. Well. Look, well, luckily for us, we have, we have a we have a cannon. No! What happened? Am I at the respawn point? Is she coming on to us? Wake up, Sybil. We freed you from those wacky techno goggles. Did you guys just hit me in the head with a rat fired from a cannon? It doesn't sound as cool when you say it. Hope you're not overly peeved. It was the only way to break your hypnotic trance. I wasn't hypnotized. I was playing a computer game. No need to thank us. We're freelance police. It's what we do. Thank you. You guys just ruined my new job. Your new job was flailing around like a hyperactive fan dancer while screaming gibberish? That job's already taken, lady. We're freelance police. It's what we do. I'm a beta tester. I was playing Reality 2.0 with those goggles. And look, you broke them. And I haven't even paid off the deposit. Well then, Reality 2.0. Ah, Reality 2.0. I suspected as much. 
It's a new, full immersion, interactive, massively multiplayer adventure. You play with these VR goggles and a Wi-Fi link to a distributed game server. You might want to explain some of your more elaborate terms to my technology-challenged little pal. I'm confused by your word, reality. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sometimes I forget you guys are Luddites. We are not. We're just very good friends. Reality 2.0 is like a video game. You put on those goggles and enter a different world. It's going to be the biggest thing on the internet. And we're in the day and age where that's technically reality. Uh, although, although, with, although, with all the talk of all this metaverse stuff, honestly, I think, I think the metaverse stuff is just really, really, really dumb. Like, virtual reality games itself is fine enough for me. Like, I do have a, I do have a VR, I do have a VR headset, I, I do have, uh, a, uh, a, a Oculus Quest 2. Uh, I, well, I initially bought it to play Resident Evil 4, and I still have yet to actually buy Resident Evil 4 on that, so, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll probably do that, <coughs> I'll probably do that eventually, but for now, it works, it works, it works well with my, uh, with my desktop, because I know, because I know for a fact I can actually run, uh, a decent chunk of the games. Never pegged you as a computer geek, Sybil. How'd you get the job? I was checking job listings online and found one right next door. Lefty's back? I can't wait to see him. Sam, have you seen my good machete? No, Lefty's gone. Now that space is being used by the cops. The cops? The cops moved into our neighborhood? Those dirty liars. We're all the police this neighborhood needs. And then some. Not police. It's an acronym for, well, for something I can't remember. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Max? I highly doubt it. These cops guys must be behind our computer crisis. What's wrong, What's wrong with the goggles? You broke them, that's what. It looks like the rear slot downstream signal framostat regurgitator chip is blown out. He has no idea what he's talking about, does he? Never. <laughs> All right. See you around, Sybil. Look for me in the unemployment line. I do feel bad that we got our average job. Let's see if we can... They're broken. Damn, all right. Well, maybe let's... Well, we should probably pay uh, the COPS uh, a visit. And luckily, Sybil said there are lefties, which happens to be right here. Next item on the agenda. If you'd like to talk about the bake sale and raffle, press 1 now. If you know the name of the topic you'd like to raise, press 2 now. I'm hunger! The refreshments will be served after the meeting. I think we stumbled into the warehouse where Steve Wozniak makes erotic movies. Proximity <laughs> alert! Hello, and welcome to the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. State your business. All right. I do like the Bluster Blaster uh, guy. He's actually pretty funny. What's the big idea hypnotizing our friend Sybil with your hinky goggles? Sybil, P-A-N-D-E-M-I-K. Inductee 48,726-5. She's enjoying reality 2.0. Rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! There is no escape! If you'd like to join the internet and experience Reality 2.0 for yourself, press or say yes now. What exactly is going on here? I'm, I'm we are taking the, the top zero one. x zero c steps to celebrate our self worth. I live. I am powerful. I will destroy you. Thank you for leading our daily affirmation. There we what go. What does the internet have to do with your little virtual reality game? The internet controls everything. The internet dreams of a world beyond this one. A world of games. A world of commerce. A world with neither boundaries nor exits. Now, using the combined computing power of an entire planet, that dream is becoming a reality. Reality 2.0. It's totally awesome! Wait, the internet? It makes sense. Only an entity with access to universal knowledge could cause computerized chaos on a global scale. It's not what you know, it's who you know. The Internet knows everyone. By making use of its multiple networks of personal contacts with other machines, the Internet has gathered the sheer computing power necessary to instantiate Reality 2.0. 
fine. But where does the hypnosis come in? Reality 2.0 is rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! There is no escape! Of course. This isn't about screwing up computers at all. It's about the people. It is? Reality 2.0 is nothing less than a fiendish plot to hypnotically enslave, well, everyone. Great, then it's simple. All we have to do is destroy the internet and all our problems are solved. Good luck with that, Buster. The internet is using you machines to hoodwink and enslave the world's populace. And as President of the United States, that's my job. We only wish to help. You're also, uh, vintage? Worthless scrap heaps of obsolete junk? Control your anger. Repeat mission statement. We formed the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society to put an end to backwards thinking like yours. Here at COPS, we believe you're only as obsolete as you feel. Version ain't nothing but a number. Alrighty. Uh, let's just say this. Sybil asked us to tender her resignation. She's got seasonal affective disorder. And scurvy! That is too bad. There is a lot of that going around these days. Where can we find this internet? You will fail! The internet is everywhere! And nowhere! Divide by zero error. All computers on the planet are now working to create Reality 2.0. The only access to the internet is through Reality 2.0. Alright, yeah. Sorry, sorry for not talking too much, there's just a lot of dialogue here. We'd like to play Reality 2.0. Reality 2.0 requires our advanced virtual reality goggles, which may not be available in some markets. If you already have a pair of goggles, press or say yes now. Sybil has a pair, but there's a broken part. Your goggles explode! Game over! Likelihood of broken rear slot downstream signal from a stat regurgitator. 99.6%. Distance replacement chip. Stop complaining and just do it. And that's the funny part. Max was actually right about the chip. Enjoy your new signal from a stat regurgitator chip and experience all that reality 2.0 has to offer. But I want to play too! I doubt they have a pair that will fit around your hideously oversized skull, Max. The whole family can enjoy reality 2.0. Take our complimentary wide fit goggles designed for playing while bicycling or enjoying full contact sports. Safety first. Alrighty. Goodbye. You cannot escape! You'll have to excuse him. He has a hard time saying goodbye. Yeah, I, 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 I love the arcade machine. He, <laughs> he's, he's such a funny lad. All right, well, we just have to head back to Sybil's, uh, repair the uh, virtual re reality thing, and then we can play uh, Reality 2.0. They're broken. Well, we gotta use the, uh, the chip on it then. The chip snapped right in. No soldering required. Aw, you know how I like to burn things. Cheer up and put on your orc kicking boots, little buddy. We're gonna have to play this game to get to the bottom of the world's internet crisis. It's a good thing your protective hat and my non-compatible brain render us both impervious to hypnotism. And it's a good thing you've been taking those classes in subtle exposition, pal. Now let's go. And... Here we hey, are. Neat. I had a dream like this once. You sold me a defective walrus and then vanished in a puff of orange smoke. Welcome to Reality 2.0, the perfect place of perfect happiness. I'm your host, the Internet. I didn't think the Internet had a face. Reality 2.0 is a lot like Sybil's office. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Sam still looks the same. That's because I'm already perfect. Reality 2.0 simulates your world and links it to cyberspace while providing a clever fusion of popular gameplay styles guaranteed to amuse the statistically average person. It's everything for everyone. Then why do you need to hypnotize people with the goggles? We are confident that you will be perfectly happy here and will never want to leave. Ever. These goggle thingies are pinching my head. 
Please be advised that this is a beta version of Reality 2.0, so some features and locations may be incomplete at this time. It figures. Reality 1.0 has the same problem. Enjoy your new reality. Hey, wait. Internet? Hello? Nuts. Well then, let's talk to Sybil. Sybil? You're still here? I didn't think you could be in the virtual reality without the goggles. Hello, fellow travelers, and welcome to Sybil's virtual reality homepage. Please look around and enjoy. Huh? Ah, uh, lips. Testing? Testing! Reality 2.0 has this convenient audio blog feature. This seems like a great way to keep notes and communicate with other players while I'm beta testing. Hmm. Day one. Enjoying it so far. Oh, if you wind up with extra gold coins, bring them back here. I need them more than you do. Looks like in some ways, Reality 2.0 is the same as regular reality. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Uh, I highly doubt that. Day one? Keep exhaustion at bay by drinking huge quantities of jitter. Every time you get tired, just down another one. Who came up with this stuff? It's genius. Uh. I love energy drinks. I want to take a flying leap off the wagon, Sam. Absolutely not. You are not to be trusted with any combination of taurine, ginkgo, niacin, or any other underdocumented energy enhancing substance. Oh well, I guess I'll just stick to plain old sugar and caramel coloring and lots of it. I think that's for the best. All right, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'm not really a big energy drink person, and that's just that's just because I have ADHD. So energy drinks does quite the opposite. Instead of uh, giving me making me with energy, it actually kind of makes me tired. Uh, more specifically, I kind of have beef with Monster Energy, as uh, recently on Twitter and such, I've been fine. Uh, these assholes have been bullying a uh, a independent like a uh, indie game studio. Who's releasing a spin-off to their uh, to one of their games? The, the game was called Monsters and uh, and Mortals or something like that. And Monster is suing them because uh, 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 it has monsters in the day. People would, would get confused with uh, uh, an energy drink brand. The f at that point, I at that point, I just want to go to Monster and just and just sucker punch every single idiot over at that company. Seriously, like at this, like at this rate, I just wish that the government would actually would actually ban certain companies from being able to make copyright infringement outside that's outside of their. Uh... Emergency! I'm running out of jitter. Send more to Civil Pandemic on Straight Street, please hurry. Uh, anyway, like I just wish they like honestly at this point because because Monster is a known uh, copyright troll. Or like copyright bully, rather. I I just wish that the U.S. government actually just bans them from making copyright claims. Let's get cracking. Jokes or skulls? Yep. All right. Let's let's keep looking Give at the list. Give me all your gold coins. I need them, and I need them now. Also, send more jitter. Chill out, lady. Sheesh. I'm starting to feel less guilty about forcibly removing Sybil from this game. Guilt is a waste. Much like humility, limerence, and DVDs. <laughs> Listen, you idiotic losers. Why would you put stupid coins in the stupid sky? How are you supposed to get those things? I can't buy the next level of my jack of all trades ability because I can't afford the training fees, and these coins are just floating up there in the sky! Who designed this stupid game? If anyone hears this, I really need some more jitter now. You'd think if Sybil didn't like the game, she'd stop playing. Your dearth of knowledge about online gaming culture is staggering. Yeah, that's why we call gaming okay. addiction. This is just not cool. Monsters are invading my homepage! I didn't know they could do that! That's just ridiculous. That's just that's just bad game design. You hear me, designers? Bad! Or else some jerk is griefing me. Whoa. I think I feel my head spinning. I'm surrounded! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! I think this is where we came in. I'm afraid there's some sort of bug. Contact Randy Tudor to fix it right away. There we go. We got we got an achievement. That's the whole reason why I was reading there's all a conspicuous those. Conspicuous golden glow coming from the crack underneath this door. There must be loot in there. Open the door, Sam. I can't, you deficient little monkey. It's locked. 
Well then, I think we wasted enough of our time for this episode today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, uh, well, if you guys somehow enjoyed the episode, even though a whole bunch of nothing got done, uh, please consider subscribing, as I'll really appreciate it. It'll help the channel grow. Yada, yada, yada. You, you guys know the gist by now. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we, where we will hopefully, uh, where we will hopefully stop the computer crisis. Until then, have a good, have a good day, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world, and have a good one. Blah, blah.